In this video, we'll create an eye blink effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. This can also be used as a transition. Let's first bring the videos into our timeline. Here we have an eye blink clip and this lady in the mountain. We're gonna use the eye blink transition between these two clips, but you can also use it as an effect. First, we need to create a black video. Click the new item icon and select black video. I already created one, so I'll just drag and drop it here. Now go to FX and search for burn doors. You will find it in video transitions wipe folder. Now drag and drop this transition at the beginning and in the end. Let's zoom in. You can zoom in or out by holding the alt option and using the mouse scroll. You can also do that by using the slider. Okay, right now the transition is closing and opening vertically. We need it in horizontal. If you click the transition and go to the effect controls, then you will see some options. By the way, you can find effect controls in window effect controls. Here you can change those black bars to horizontal from vertical. Also we need to reverse it to get the eye blink effect. Do the same for the end transition, but for this one, we do not need to reverse it. Okay, now it's a little too slow for an eye blink effect. We can make it faster by just making it shorter. Maybe 4 to 5 frames at the beginning and 5 frames in the middle and then again 4 to 5 frames in the end. How fast or slow you want it to be is totally up to you. Okay, let's play it now. There's one problem here. Those black bars have sharper edges. We can make it softer by adding a Gaussian blur. So go to FX and search for Gaussian blur. Let's drag and drop it here. In effect controls, increase the blurriness. But it's not working. It applies in the whole layer, not in the transition. We want it only in the transition areas. To fix this, first we need to nest it. Let's delete this Gaussian blur first. Now right click here and select nest. Now we can apply the Gaussian blur and increase the blurriness. See, now it looks natural. Make sure you check repeat edge pixels, otherwise you will see those edge areas. Great, this was the main concept. Now let's quickly apply it between two videos. For example, here in this clip, I'll apply the transition just when she closes her eyes. But here she starts with opening her eye. So we can just reverse the clip. Right click and go to speed duration. Here check reverse speed and then hit OK. Now the whole clip is reversed. Now I'll just make a cut here with the razor tool. The keyboard shortcut is C. And then place the eye blink effect here. Place it at the middle where it ends so that we can have some space for another clip. In the first clip here, I added a zoom in with adding some keyframes in the in scale. On the other one, I added rotation and a scale. Let's make this clip a bit shorter. Now on a scale, click the stopwatch icon. Increase the scale. Place the keyframe where you want. At the beginning, set it to 100. Now we have a zoom in effect. You can also add ease in or ease out for a smoother zooming in. I also made this one. This is not a transition between two videos, it's just one video with eye blink effect. I added some color grading and sound effects. So this is how we can easily add eye blink effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share and subscribe for more tutorials every week. Thanks for watching.